Before frack became a loaded word, there was a time when the public was generally enthusiastic about shale gas development. I began covering the story of the Marcellus Shale when I was a reporter for the Press and Sun Bulletin in 2008. Few people then really appreciated what the Marcellus was or what it was worth. Landmen were leasing rights to all the land they could find for $5 an acre. When a group of farmers in Broome County landed a deal with a Texas company, XTO Energy, to lease 50,000 acres for $110 million, that's when people began paying attention. People were sold on the prospects of clean burning natural gas as a means to cleaner energy, national independence, and untold fortunes for the working farmer facing tax debts. And then on January 1st, 2009, Norma Fiorentino's well exploded. It was an event that became iconic of the greatest environmental movement since Love Canal. Norma is a plumber's widow and home health aide who lives across the border of New York State in a trailer on a seven acre homestead in Susquehanna County, Pennsylvania. DEP was here today and he said, I have to, I have to take your well and I have to take two different sites because he said the last one came back 25% gas. So whatever you do, don't drink it, he said. I think of Norma as the Rosa Parks of the anti-fracking movement. Under the Surface chronicles the circumstances that ushered in a new era of onshore drilling. It's a story of hope, naivete, and dashed expectations. And it's the story of a clash of ideology in two states straddling one of the richest natural gas resources in the world.